If you're applying for a job that requires the knowledge of Excel, you'll find this video useful. There are eight questions in all, and they were used to test the knowledge of a financial analyst. You can download the file in the description box below and follow along. Restrict the highlighted cells to the list in cells D2 to D5. This question is asking the candidate to create a drop-down list using data validation. You can use a drop-down list to restrict the information in a cell. Now, to solve this question, select the cells where you want the drop-down list, go to the Data tab, click Data Validation. In the Allow box, select List. For the source, select the list and click OK. Now, users are restricted to the content of this list. Quick tip. To copy the data validation to another cell without the blue format, you can copy Ctrl C, press Alt E S to open the paste special window. To select validation, press N as indicated by the underlined letter. Now only the data validation has been copied. What is the volume of almond milk to achieve a total revenue of 21,000? Total revenue is currently 18,123. Volume and price are hard coded, and revenue is volume multiplied by price. This question is testing the candidate's knowledge of GoalSeek. GoalSeek is a what if analysis tool in Excel that can be used to test scenarios. To solve this question, go to the Data tab, click the What If Analysis button, and select GoalSeek. Set cell refers to the cell you want to change. The cell must contain a formula, and that's E8, the total revenue. To value refers to the target value, and that's 21,000. Just type it in. By changing cell refers to the variable, the cell to be adjusted, and that is C7. That's the volume of almond milk. This cell must contain a hard-coded value or can be blank, as we have here. Click OK. Excel will run the calculation and suggest a solution. Now you can click OK to accept the solution or cancel if the proposed solution is not acceptable. So I'll click OK. Show the corresponding bonus value in cells E4 to E27. This question is testing the candidate's knowledge of lookup functions. The most popular one is VLOOKUP. You can also use INDEX and MATCH and XLOOKUP. You can check out my videos on these functions in the description box below. Let's use VLOOKUP to solve this question. The VLOOKUP function searches for a value in the first column of a table and returns the corresponding value from the column you specify. So VLOOKUP, the lookup value is in B4. For tables, select the entire list and press F4 to lock the cell reference so it doesn't shift when you copy it down. The bonus is in the second column. Select false for an exact match. Close the bracket and hit enter. Now double click to fill down and that's it. There are three questions on this page. Question four, use a formula to generate weak numbers in column G. This question is testing the candidate's knowledge of a date function called WeekNum. The WeekNum function returns the week number of a specific date. WeekNum. The serial number is the date. Return type is optional. It will automatically default to 1, which is the week starting January 1. So you can skip. Double click to fill down. And that's it. Now, question five, summarize the data showing weekly volume per product and per region. This question is testing the candidate's knowledge of pivot tables. A pivot table helps you to summarize and analyze data. First step, convert the data into a table. Control T. You can insert a pivot table without converting your data into a table, but it's best practice to do so. Plus, it helps you to update the pivot table easily with new data. 
go to the insert tab and click on pivot table from table we'll place it in the existing worksheet okay now the candidate is expected to show weekly volume per product and per region so drag volume to values product and region to rows to format these numbers right click anywhere in the values and select number format check the thousand separator and click ok you can also change the layout of the pivot table in the design tab I'll go with the tabular form it looks much better this way now let's move to question 6 sort the summarized data in descending order to sort the numbers right click and select a sort option descending means largest to smallest so select and that's it highlight rows where current year cost is higher than prior year cost this question is testing the candidate's knowledge of conditional formatting with formulas conditional formatting changes the appearance of cells based on set conditions now select the cells you want to apply the conditional formatting in the home tab click conditional formatting select new row use a formula to determine which cells to format and then type the formula in the box c5 press f4 twice to lock the column is greater than d5 lock the column as well click format and fill with yellow click ok another easy question there the entire rows where current year cost is higher than prior costs have been highlighted update columns e to f in line with headers this question is testing a candidate's knowledge of year-over-year -year analysis, which is used to assess a company's financial performance. Current year versus prior year simply means current year minus prior year. So C4 minus D4. Copy the formula down. Current year versus prior year percentage simply means current year minus prior year divided by prior year another way you can do that is current year divided by prior year minus one both will give you the same result and the results are usually expressed in percentage terms so copy down now analysts are typically asked to document insights from this kind of analysis and that's a skill that makes you a good analyst the ability to interpret data and make sound recommendations that's all for today if you'd like to see more videos like this please leave a comment below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching bye